In February of 44, I went to Fort Devens and stayed there for a couple of days, got issued a uniform and all. Then they sent me down to Keesler Field in Mississippi. You know, we went through basic training. Basic training was all the basics of being a service person. How to salute and how to take a bath. And of course, a lot of, a lot of the uh, fellows from the South joined the service just to get a pair of shoes to wear. Things like that, you know. They carried us right through doing a bivouac area where you fight with a rifle and you're, you're down crawling on your knees and living out in a bivouac area, which is a tent about that high, and two-man tent. So all the basic things of being a soldier. and basic training, we were all segregated. We were all in a black outfit, in black barracks. We were, not, we were not integrated, even in training. The whole time I was at Bluxy, Mississippi, I never went off base. I stayed on base because I didn't want to get into trouble. And I knew I, if I got off base, I'd probably end up getting in trouble, fighting the discrimination, you know. I wanted to be a pilot. Well, I had my private pilot's license and flight training. There was only one place I could go. Tuskegee was the only place. Randolph Field and all the others were all white. Yeah, we had to go there. And the people who taught you, were they black too? Yes, and basic training they were. But when we went in the Air Force and flight training, they were all uh, white, white instructors. Because see, there was no, 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 no black in the Air Force, you know, at the time, we had black pilots. Training was very uh, tough. My hopes were to come out just alive. <laughs> that was my first hope, yeah. You had to take some abuse from some of the flight instructors because they were all white. And uh, they would use the N-word sometimes to try to get you upset. And some of the fellows did wash out because they, their tempo flared up and they went after them, you know. And then that's, uh, they're all officers and the cadets were, were just students, so <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> Every month there was a new class. Nine months later they graduate. Well, some dropped out, some were killed, some in plane crashes, and some were washed out. There were a lot of washouts. Not warranted to be a pilot. Uh, they would call you anything to wash you out. They were taking their own hostility out on us, their own prejudices out on us. I wasn't getting too discouraged. Uh, no, because I, I I was determined to to push on and to accomplish what I was there to do. General Davis came up. He was the first black general in the Air, Army Air Corps. They came back from Italy, and he met with us, and he talked with us. And he says, he, he gave us a real uh, inspiring uh, talk. And he pointed out the fact that we had to set our priorities somewhere and we had to use the persistence in obtaining our priorities. And that was to hell with the white people that discriminate you. You want to fly? Fly is the thing that you, is your priority. Fly is the thing that you... You learn to fly the army way and you take your frustrations out on the enemy.